all you fabulous people out there. It's me again, I Wanna Know More. You may remember me from other episodes in the I Wanna Know More show, such as Thumbtacks, Don't Pin Me Down, or Sloths, How Slow Can You Go? Well, have you ever made a mistake and wondered, whatever will I do? Can I ever show this fabulous face in public again? Well, if you have been wondering that, then today's episode will answer precisely that question. But first, a word from our sponsors. It's time for our Bible story. Our story today is about a man named Samson. And one thing you need to know about Samson is that he was strong. I mean, super strong. God had given him this super strength to fight for God's people. Another thing you need to know about Samson, the thing that all his enemies wish they knew, is the secret to his strength. It was his hair. Who would have guessed that? But it was true. If he cut his hair, he would lose his strength. It's not because he had magic hair, though. It was because Samson's long hair was a symbol of how much he loved God. So he was strong because God was with him. One more thing you need to know about Samson. He was in love with a girl named Delilah. Sadly, Delilah didn't feel the same way about Samson. So she made a deal with Samson's enemies. If she found out the secret to his super strength and told them, they would pay her lots of money. So Delilah asked Samson what his secret was. Samson knew that sharing this secret would be a big mistake. So three times he told her it was something else until Delilah finally wore Samson out. He was so tired of her asking that he gave in and told her the secret. He had made a big mistake. His enemies captured him and they did lots of mean things to him. Later, Samson enemies were having a party to celebrate getting the best of their strongest foe. They brought Samson out to make fun of him in person. Samson prayed to God. He had learned from his terrible mistake and now prayed that God would give him strength once again so he could knock down the pillars he was resting against and bring down the house, literally. God heard Samson and was with him. Even though he had made a mistake, God gave him strength to bring down the house. Samson reminds us that we all make mistakes, but God never leaves us, even when we mess up. You can always be sure, God helps me learn from my mistakes. I love a good parade, don't you? That's why every fall, I skedaddle on down to New York City to take in the sights and sounds of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. It has some of the largest and most extravagant balloon floats out there. Now, did you know that one float alone requires 50 to 100 people just to make it fly properly? Now, with that kind of large task comes the potential for some large mistakes. Take a look. Oh my, I wonder if that's how the dinosaurs went extinct. <laughs> oh, look out below. Oh my. Oh now, cat, I don't think you can hang your hat up there. OMG, talk about sink or float. <laughs> Well, have you ever had one of your balloons float off into the air? Now, what did you do to make sure it didn't happen the next time around? Well, if you were smart, you probably thought to tie it around your wrist. And that is an example of learning from your mistakes. Now, instead of getting stuck in your mistakes and letting them keep you down, it's important to find ways to repurpose them and to draw something good from them. Now. What do you think ice cream cones, post-it notes, and even bubble wrap have all in common? Well, believe it or not, they were all made by mistake. In fact, the people who invented them thought they had failed epically at what they were doing, only until they realized that their mistakes could be turned into something revolutionary that could be useful and helpful for so many people. And you know, that's what every great leader does. 
they learn from their mistakes and they do better next time. Now, even though we're the ones making the mistakes, it's important to remember that God is the only one who can help us fix them and learn from them. And even though it may be normal to make mistakes, it's never a wise decision to keep making the same mistakes over and over and over again. That's why we need to ask God to help us learn from our mistakes so that we can grow from them. Now, in the Bible, Samson realized that he had made mistakes, and in the end, he did the right thing. And if there is one thing we can learn from Samson's story, it's that it's never too late to turn to God for a second chance, because he'll always give it to us. We can pray to God and ask him to forgive us and to help us learn from those experiences. And do remember that you can always turn to your loved ones and others that you trust to support and encourage you through all of that. So don't forget, when you do make a mistake, you're never doomed. Simply ask God to forgive you and then ask him to help you learn from it. That's what every great leader does and that's what you can do too. And that's because God helps me learn from my mistakes. Now I never let my viewers leave empty handed. So that's why before you take off, here's what you need to take away. This week, ask yourself these questions. Are mistakes a good thing or a bad thing? Why do you think that? What is one mistake you made recently? And what can you do about it? What has God helped you learn from the mistakes you've made? Until next time, this is Ivana No More reminding you that none of us are perfect. We all make mistakes. And Jesus is the only one who can forgive us and help us to learn from them. Ciao! This episode of the Ivana No More show was brought to you by Oopsies. Because sometimes it's not just your little ones who let things slip. says that God helps me to learn from my mistakes. I was here trying to be creative and make a Samson, just like from our Bible story for today. And I made some mistakes, but I found a way to learn from them and create something very cool. So I'm gonna teach you how to make this cool craft that is Samson in a very funny and creative way. So let's start together, right? To make our Samsam today, we're gonna need a paper bag, like lunch paper bag that you can find in your house. So here starts the fun. You get a paper bag and draw like a body on the bottom, just like so. And then you draw a face. So here in my house, I found googly eyes. So I'm gonna use it to make a little funnier my character today. So if you don't have that, that's fine. You just can draw a face for your Samsung. So remember, Samsung had a very long hair so you can get, use the yarn and do multiple turns and make a very long hair. Just like so. And stick on top. Maybe something is missing on this craft to represent Samson a little bit better. Because remember that Samson was very strong. So there, I draw some arms that you can find the template on our Facebook page, or you can draw yourself as well, it's all fine. So you print it and color it and cut around. So now that they have the arms, it just stick on the back. So 
So that's how your funny Sansom is gonna look like once it's done. And you can play, because it's a bag, as a puppet. So now you can play with your Sansom, your Sansom puppet, like this. Oh, look how I am strong! Yes, that's it for me for today, kids. I'm gonna be playing here with this puppet that we made together. But before I go, I want to remind you that our Zoom calls is happening every Sunday afternoon. We would love to have you there playing with us and learning more about God. You can find all the information, ask your parents first to go to our Facebook page, the link is just down here, and find out all the information about that. So that's it for me for today, I'll see you next week, bye!